Hello everyone and I have another Masi chess game by Akiba Rubinstein and in this chess game as you can see he is playing with the knighthoods he has no knight on b1 and his opponent is a chess player with no name this is a chess game from 1902 the location is unknown let's see what happened let's quickly check out what happened he starts the game with e4 e5 bishop to c4 developing the knight pushing the d pawn capturing developing the knight and castling quick developing moves by Rubinstein, capturing the pawn, defending the knight, bishop to g5, and black castled. Well, black is a little bit slow, now black's pieces, as you can see, the rooks are not connected, he haven't developed the bishop and the knight, so black has a clunky position, but this is also very early, bishop goes back, finally developing the knight, but Rubinstein played queen to h4, and now he is threatening to capture the defender, on h7 and then checkmating the king so black is defending in this position actually pushing the h pawn is probably not working because of bishop sacrifice and if capturing the bishop you can take back with the queen and actually in this position i believe there is no defense so you can see that there is perpetual check and okay you can see that there is perpetual check so white can actually get the draw and draw was actually a very good result when white was playing without one of his knights so black didn't want any draw black pushed the g pawn but now rook from f to e1 placing the rook in the semi-open file knight to d5 what would you do well akiba rubinstein captured the bishop the worst is yet to come there is no draw that's for sure but who is going to win this chess game Knight takes on e7, capturing back with the knight, not with the queen of course. <laughs> black wants to keep his queen. And bishop to f6, it looks like black has problems in the dark squares. So maybe queen to h6 and then checkmating the king is a possibility. But maybe black can also defend with the knight. So d5, rook to e1, bishop to e6 and we have knight to e5. Again, in this position... Uh, this is probably not working because of this move. Okay, so if you capture the knight, queen takes bishop and black is surviving. And that's a disaster for white. So this is why Rubinstein wisely didn't play queen to h6, which was a tempting move because it looks like black has serious problems in the dark squares. And you can see that Rubinstein's bishops are aiming the king very dangerously very aggressively bishop to e6 knight to e5 basically attacking the defender on e7 black is tight down actually there are no good moves in this position knight takes on e5 rook takes on e5 and i'm pinning the knight but here comes the crushing move what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces so let me give you a couple of seconds to pause the video Actually, I believe right now, <laughs> queen to h6 is working, but Rubinstein wanted to finish this chess game in a style. He sacrificed his queen, queen takes on h7. That's check. Only move. Can you see the move? Then, rook to h5, the g pawn is pinned. You can take the rook because this pawn is pinned due to the pin with the bishop. So, the only move, king to g8. And here comes Rook to h8, checkmate. What a game. What an incredible checkmate by Akiba Rubinstein. Of course, his opponent was not the strongest chess player of all times. That's why he surrendered one of his knights. And that was a huge advantage for his opponent. Yet, he still defeated his opponent in a brutal way. Well, the game actually ended at move 18. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.